Now we're going to focus on the stairs. Just like for many other objects, we're going to create one set of stairs and we're going to duplicate them for the other side. That way they can share the exact same UV space. So let's go ahead and delete these stairs and select the ones that we're going to work on. Press Ctrl 1 to isolate select. Go to side view, switch over to face component mode and we need to select the faces underneath and on the other side. We're going to remove them because the player will not see them. So I am marquee selected the faces on the side and underneath, holding down shift to add to a selection. And then let's go to perspective view and you can see we have everything selected except for the top and the front of the stairs. And we need to deselect these faces on the side because we're going to extend them all the way down to reach the ground plane. This will create the stair wall. So I'm going to hold down control and remove from the selection. So now all we have selected are the faces that we're not going to see. Then press delete to remove them. Now because we used individual cubes to create these stairs, we have overlapping vertices. So we need to merge them. Switch over to vertex component mode. Let's go to side view and select all these vertices right here in the middle between each stair and then we'll merge them. With all these vertices selected, you can see we have 76 selected. Hold down shift, right click hold and go to merge vertices. And now we are down to 38 vertices. Next, let's create the stair wall. We need to select all these edges with the exception of the very first stair because that edge is already touching the ground plane. Then let's go to side view, hold shift, left click drag to extrude these edges all the way down. And then with these edges still selected, hold X, middle mouse click and drag to snap them to the grid. And then make sure you snap them to the ground plane so they form and create a wall. We now have overlapping double vertices for all of the bottom extruded edges. So let's go to vertex component mode, select them all, and merge them. Next, let's take care of these floating vertices by selecting them, holding down V, and snapping them to the corner vertex of the stairs. We're going to do this for each floating vertex. So select one, hold V, middle mouse click and drag to snap to the upper vertex. Repeat, all the way down. And then we need to merge them because now we have overlapping vertices. So I'm going to select them all, making sure to deselect the vertices on the other side just to avoid any problems. And then merge the selected vertices. So we're doing a bit of optimizing as we go along. So here we are with the stairs that are coming along pretty good. Delete history and we have one more final step to do. We're going to bevel the corner edge of each stair. This will create a very nice additional detail and help light the model better. So select all the corner edges and then press Ctrl B to bevel. Set fraction to a low value. I'm going to try 0.1 but this is a bit too much so I'm going to lower it down to 0 0.075 and that looks pretty good. This does come at an expense of adding additional geometry. So if you're trying to save some polygons, then you may not want to bevel. So you have to use this sparingly on certain edges where you want to accentuate the geometry. Otherwise, this would increase the triangle count for the mesh. So our stairs are now done. And when we UV them, we will duplicate them for the back of the building. 